Welcome to Health Watch, presented by Novant Health. I'm your host, June Baker. Our show features local physicians and health professionals discussing health topics of importance to local residents. Today, we will talk with Drs. Justin and Tori Asbury, who are opening Novant Health Oceanside Family Medicine's fourth location in Leland. Then we will have the opportunity to meet nurse practitioners Jennifer Cully and Jennifer Schwer, who have joined Novant Health, Oceanside Family Medicine and Convenient Care in Chalote. And finally, we will learn about the local farmer's market and healthy eating options from Morgan McKnight and Mark Blevins of the local North Carolina Cooperative Extension Office. Stay tuned to learn about valuable health topics with Health Watch. Our first guests are Drs. Justin and Tori Asbury. Well, welcome back to the show, guys. Thank you. Yeah, it's thank a pleasure you. to have you here today. Now, for our viewers who may not have had the opportunity to meet you the last time you were on the show, we'll just start with a little bit of background. So how long have you and your family been here in Brunswick County? We've been here just under a year now. Okay. I moved here and joined Novant, working for them but you feel like it's home already, right? It is, definitely. <laughs> Great. Well, where were you prior to moving to this area, Tori? Um, before here, we were in East Tennessee in Johnson City. We practiced right outside of Johnson City for three years before we came to North Carolina. Oh, wow. How's the move been so far? Do you love it here? We do. It's been a great transition for us. Yeah. Good. Well, let's talk a little bit about your education. Uh, Justin, tell us where you um, went to school and did your residency. Uh, med school, we actually both did in Blacksburg at Virginia oh, Tech up that's there. That's so nice. That's actually where we met. We actually met and got married in 2007 and then we graduated in 2008. Great. And then did the rest of our residency and family medicine training um, near Virginia Beach, Newport News area for three years here before moving to Tennessee. And you say you'd been in practice about four years before you moved here? Uh, three years before we moved here, yeah, and then a year here. so. Great, great. Well, I hear that July is going to be a really exciting month for you guys and that you're opening a new practice in uh, the Waterford area. Um, and it's called Novant Health Oceanside Family Medicine. And that's their fourth location, right? Yep. yep. Tell me about that. Where exactly is the office located? It's in, as you mentioned, the Waterford area in Leland. Um, mm -hmm. So it's on one of their Waterford Medical Plaza there on mm -hmm. the second floor, actually. So we definitely are excited. It's the community that we live in already, so we're excited for it. Mm -hmm. And so I, I hear they've uh, remodeled the office, and it's beautiful, and uh, it will be a great place for your patients to yep. come to. Yep. Good. Yep. Now, Tori, I think you'll be moving from the Southport office where you currently are. Is that correct? That's right. We've been in Southport for a year. And, you know, Southport's such a great it town. Is. It's, it's wonderful. wonderful. So many wonderful people there, and Dr. Johnson and Dr. Moore, they've been great. So, of course, there's mixed emotions with leaving sure. that practice. Um, we're really excited about getting started in Leland, though, and adding more access to, you know, Brunswick County for all of the Novant patients. That's exactly right. And, and Justin, you're moving from the Bolivia office? Yep, just down the road, just down 17 there. So, so that'll be quite a change for you, too. Yep, a little bit. But it'll be it'll be a good one. But. Yeah, well, I'm sure you're both looking forward to that, and you'll be practicing together. I think that's a great thing to have a husband and wife together in practice. I, I'm sure you guys are excited about that. Yeah, it's worked really well for us in the past mm -hmm. um, because we do family practice and we like to see the whole family. Um, so that's been a really good thing for us to be able to get to know families as a family. And mm -hmm. I think patients have really liked that in the past and it makes it a lot easier for coverage and things like that. So it's been great. And you know, previous locations. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, let's talk about your plans for the Leland office. Now, what all services will you provide? Let's 
talk a little bit more about the like birth to death is it that kind of thing and a little bit of everything <laughs> a little bit of everything total family um we we're always interested and excited used to seeing newborn on up through retired you name uh -huh. it with that um it's exciting for this location for us too because really mentioning access not just for location wise but for hours and so what we're doing different there actually opening earlier than typical practices oh. have so we'll actually have access for phones or for appointments even before eight in the morning mm -hmm. and actually through lunch we won't wow. have set lunch breaks so folks can get in so the phone will answer phone and appointments available right. even through lunchtime as well as early appointments so i think it's i think it's great for the community and area mm -hmm. to help improve access so uh, again you do see patients of all ages but how young would you see um, a child? Um, newborns, after they're discharged from the hospital, really? we don't go to the hospital to the newborn nursery, but you know, as soon as they're discharged home, we start seeing them. So just at a couple of weeks then? Two days. Two you days? Know, if someone needs to be seen at you know, a day or two days old, a lot of times the baby will be discharged and they need to have a follow-up right away mm -hmm. for a weight check or you know, jaundice or something, we can do that as well. Wonderful. That's going to be great for the Leland area because I think there are so many young families in that area with children. Right. I think that, and especially with those hours, if you, you know, have extended hours, what a great plus that is yeah. for those families. Mm -hmm. um, how about well care and sick care? Um, will you, you'll do both, I'm sure. Right. Yeah, we'll have. Um, of course, sick care and same day appointments. Okay. And we're actually even going to be doing some e visits for certain complaints and things like that. Um, but the well care, well child checks, and immunizations for pediatrics and adults, too. So, will you do all immunizations? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All ages with that. Yeah. And, and the great thing, uh, mentioning immunizations, is actually all insurances, too. So that's a big thing. It was a, really important to us that sure. not just commercial, but Medicaid, Medicare, really covering everything because mm -hmm. they do have certain guidelines for different immunizations with that, so mm -hmm. we're excited. That's awesome. Well, I know that Novant Health has um, OBGYN offices in the Waterford Medical Plaza. Is that, mm -hmm. is that correct? Yep. Right. Um, so that means new moms can kind of just bring their baby right, o right over to you after delivery. I think that's a really cool um, idea there. Yeah, and with the electronic medical record, you know, those babies d are delivered at the hospital and right. usually we have their information as soon as they walk in the door. So it makes it just so seamless for parents to bring their newborn in. Right, it does. That, mm -hmm. I, I just didn't even think about that part mm -hmm. of it, yeah. Yeah, but nothing makes it easier. And that's, it's close to, to what we did before. Actually, mm -hmm. in practice in Tennessee, we actually did inpatient newborn care. So we would see in the hospital and out here. So mm -hmm. we, like, we like seeing that on up through ages, so. Mm -hmm. um, before we wrap up, are there any particular focus areas that you all are interested in that you would like to share? Um, of course, we like seeing all ages, mm -hmm. pediatrics. Um, I do a lot of women's health. Um, really do you? big, yeah, prevention is a big thing for me. Sure. Um, preventing diseases, whether that be through nutrition or exercise or just screenings. Mm -hmm. um, so that's something I focus on a lot. So you do c total women's care? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Non surgical care, of course. Right. Yeah. yeah, a lot of, like she mentioned, lifestyle. And it's big, it's mm -hmm. big for us for what we do, and I think it's a big thing for all ages that we really focus and look at. Um, sports medicine, whether injuries or things that happen at all ages, um, is something I kind of also mm -hmm. interested in. And involved. I think, I believe in the past where you've participated in some physicals for athletes in the yeah. area and what mm -hmm. have you, mm -hmm. and I know that's a particular interest of yours. It definitely is, definitely is. Mm -hmm. so. That's great because we can always use that kind of help for our residents here in Brunswick County. So, so. <laughs> um, that's great. Well, it's been a pleasure to meet you. Um, I'm curious. Uh, I know you're taking new appointments, correct? Mm -hmm. And yeah. how might we do that? Well, a couple options. You can do it online. Can through, you? Uh, through Novant, um, their website there. But then we also, and I think they'll put the number on the screen as well. The main number for the office will open up starting. Through, through the July is um, 910-408-1130. They can call it as well. Okay, all right. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you and uh, to have you back. And uh, I hope to see you again. We'll follow up um, after you've been open for a few months. We'll follow up and see how it's going for you guys. Okay, Sounds great. Good. Thanks Appreciate for having it. us. Thank sure, you. no problem.
Our next guests are nurse practitioners Jennifer Cully and Jennifer Schweer. Welcome to the show today, guys. It's such a pleasure to have you. Hey, thank you for having us. Thank Great. you. Now, I understand that both of you have recently joined Novant Health, Oceanside Family Medicine, and Convenient Care in Shalote, correct? Yes. yes. That's right. That is a big, long title. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that practice is really, uh, really growing. I can't believe mm -hmm. how large it's become. And I'd like to start today's um, episode by learning more about um, each of you. So we'll start with Jennifer Cully. Okay. Um, Tell me how long you've been here in Brunswick County. I've been in Brunswick County for a total of eight years. Eight years. Mm -hmm. I've been working um, as a nurse practitioner for a little over five years. Mm -hmm. I think you were actually with Varnum Family Wellness, is that correct? That's correct. Yeah, and that was just prior to joining Oceanside. Right. But yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit about your education and your background, Jennifer. I received my bachelor's degree and my master's degree from the University of North Carolina at Wilmington. Mm -hmm. um, I've been working as a practitioner for a little over five years in primary care. Mm -hmm. Do you see children? I do. Great. Birth on up until 100 plus. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, Jennifer Schwer. Yes. This is confusing. Two Jennifers. Yes. So, um, I understand that you recently relocated to this area. Is that correct? Yes, I am originally from Atlanta, Georgia, mm -hmm. um, and I've been in. I'm actually out at uh, Wrightsville Beach, um, doing a little bit of commute here, um, but I've been yeah. here for about two, three months. Mm -hmm. Loving Great. it. Great. Love the beach. Mm -hmm. It is. It's awesome here. Yeah. So, tell me a little bit now about your work experience and your education. Okay, so I graduated from Clemson University mm -hmm. um, in Clemson, South Carolina, and I went and got my master's in Georgetown uh, University from D.C., and my background is in um, the neuro ICU in Charleston, South Carolina at MUSC. So you were a nurse first, I believe, right? Yes. And then uh -huh. a nurse practitioner. Yes. Great. Well, it sounds like you both have some great um, experience, and we've talked about nurse practitioners. So I, I, I feel like there are probably viewers who are not quite sure what a nurse practitioner does. Mm -hmm. So Jennifer Cully, could you um, tell our viewers um, what a nurse practitioner does? Nurse practitioners, um, they start out as nurses. They get an advanced practice degree, master's degree. Then they take their boards mm -hmm. and they have to pass their boards mm -hmm. in different, and it can be any kind of area. Um, ours is family medicine. Mm -hmm. Both of you? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you work alongside a physician, mm -hmm. you uh, assess patients, diagnose and treat diseases, uh, focus on preventative medicine, and do whatever people are usually accustomed to at a family medicine office. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what nurse practitioners will provide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's very interesting, but I do have one question, Jennifer. Um, are you able to prescribe to patients? Yes. Yes. Okay, now, are, are you both accepting new patients? Yes. yes. Good. That's, that's awesome. We can always use um, additional uh, providers in this area. Yeah. Is there a specific age group that, uh, that you treat, Jennifer? Um, I'm seeing all Asians, so taking every, all patients, uh, babies, newborns, all the way up into pediatrics and adults. Mm -hmm. Great. And I know you do too, Jennifer, Cully. <laughs> So you both see adult and pediatric patients, and if um, there's a new um, mom out there who needs a pediatric um, appointment, they can just call and, and make an appointment with the, either of you. Is that correct? Yes, absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about the convenient care part of Novant Health Oceanside Family Medicine, okay. um, in particular the weekend and um, evening hours. Mm -hmm. So we're open until 8, um, so ideally you know, you get there a little bit beforehand. And then on the weekends, we are 12, uh, 12 to 5 on Sundays and then 9 to 6 on Saturdays. But Monday through Friday, you're open, open until 8, 8 p.m.? Mm -hmm. And what time do you open again in the morning? We start at 7. At mm -hmm. 7? Mm -hmm. Wow. So you get people before they go to work and, mm -hmm. and on the way home from work. Yes. That's great. It's been, that's so convenient for the folks uh, who work mm -hmm. uh, that they don't have to take time away from their jobs. Right, right. Yeah. Now, I noticed the other day when I drove by the practice that there was a lot of construction going on, and it looked like it was expanding. Can we talk about that a little bit? 
Yeah, so we're expanding. We're going to be adding 12 uh, more exam rooms on. We're also going to be increasing our parking, you know, which has kind of been an issue. Um, and hopefully it'll be open in July with all our new providers who need more space. So, Jennifer Cully, how are you all working with all this construction going on? <laughs> Very carefully <laughs> and adjusting to different schedules and... Mm -hmm. Is it noisy? musical chairs a little bit. It's, oh, yes. Is it it? noisy? Yeah. It has its days. It's not always noisy, but we make um, it work. It's going to be <laughs> worth it in the end. Well, 12 rooms, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. That's, yes. that's going to be quite a, a practice. Yeah. But I, I understand that there have been several new people that have joined your practice, and so yes. um, I understand the need for the additional rooms, yes. but yeah. I was kind of surprised. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, it'll open soon? Hopefully in July. Mm -hmm. That's projected date. Great. Yeah. So before we wrap up, if one of our viewers would like to schedule an appointment with either of you, how might they do that, Jennifer Cully? They could call our office at 754-4441 or they could go online to NovantHealth.org Novant um, or their MyChart. Or their MyChart. Mm -hmm. Well, great. Thank you so much for being on the show today. It's yeah. been such a pleasure. I can't wait for you guys to come back and tell us how it's going. Great. Well, thank you very much for having us. You're Thanks. quite welcome. Our last guests today are Morgan McKnight and Mark Blevins of Brunswick County's North Carolina Cooperative Extension Office. Well, hey, guys. Thanks for coming today. Thank you for having us. So happy to have to you here. here. What a great time. And um, I'd like to start off by talking about your roles with the Cooperative Extension. We'll start with you, Morgan. What is it that you do? Okay. Um, I am the Family and Consumer Sciences Agent with Cooperative Extension in Brunswick County. Um, so that kind of includes a lot of different things, um, but my focus is really on um, food and food education. So healthy eating, healthy cooking. Um, in the past year that I've been with Extension, um, I've really tried to program a, with a focus on local foods. So mm -hmm. um, when we're teaching um, or when I'm teaching classes about healthy eating and healthy cooking, we do a lot with um, smart shopping and shopping on a budget as well, wow. whether that's to families or senior centers or things like that. Um, so um, I try and include information about local foods, where they can shop locally, um, and kind of shopping with um, the season. So um, normally things are at a lower price if it's within season, and if they can buy it from a farmer's market or somewhere locally, um, then it's going to a lot of times have a better price as well. Awesome. Yeah. Um, w while we're uh, talking with you, tell me about your education and your background. How did you get into what you do? Uh, well, it's interesting. Um, I went to UNCW and graduated with a degree in community health education, um, which really sets you up for working in um, a few different areas of health, but um, I actually interned for the Brunswick County Health Department, and that's kind of when I realized, um, I guess, my passion for public health. Um, mm. So before that, um, I, I wasn't exactly sure what area I wanted to be in, but when I interned, um, I just loved being in the health field in Brunswick County, um, which is so different from even the county that I grew up in and um, and it was just really interesting to me I loved the programs and the atmosphere of public health um, and so while I was interning um, I met Mark and a couple of the other people within Cooperative Extension um, and I was lucky enough that a position came open after I graduated for the Family and Consumer Sciences agent um, and so that's kind of what wow, got me in the door great. so it is great. yeah great great information okay Mark it's your turn well, I'm on the <laughs> farmer side of local foods so okay. as the agricultural agent, I help farmers and gardeners do what they do best and also lead kind of the, the whole program for Cooperative Extension that we have going on. Oh, we have some great staff members in Brunswick County as educators in Cooperative uh -huh. Extension. In addition to health and nutrition and agriculture, we have a horticultural staff that helps landscapers and master gardeners and other folks really hone their skills outside, right. as well as 4-H youth development, which gets kids all these leadership and other life skills to grow up and do great things and hopefully come right back to Brunswick County and keep those skills right here. Well, and tell me um, how you got to be where you are. Where did you do your education? Hey, so growing up, I was in a small one stoplight town <laughs> just north of here in Sampson County, and so everybody around me was farming. Yeah. And I worked in fields during the summer sometimes. And so, wow, that's really fun. Then I go to school, I'm like, oh, you should be an engineer. <laughs> and so, all right, 
I'm like, it's like engineering. I really want to be outside and help I people. I want to be a farmer. That's right. So I want to be outside and help people. So I did yeah. So I <laughs> think when my dad had questions about his garden or when those farmers uh -huh. needed some help, they always went to the cooperative extension folks. Correct. And so being outside, helping people, having that right. sort of, of community, oh, put me into cooperative extension. And so rest is history. <laughs> so you NC found State, a niche. couple of, yeah, right back here. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Great answer. Well, we do all appreciate what um, the great services that the Cooperative Extension provides in our community. We've had folks on from your department before, and it's always a great show. We love having you guys. But um, I understand that you all are members of the Local Foods Policy Council. So tell me more about that group. All right. So we do lead that effort to get all these different pieces and, and puzzle parts of the local food system okay. together at the table. So not just farmers, not just foodies, but the grocers and the transporters oh. and the local food system think tanker people and all okay. these different aspects of local foods together to create some action items so that we can get this process moving and get more local foods on more local tables. Hmm. Uh, so, do you, does your council, is that located at the county complex? Is that where you meet? Do you, how we do you meet get there. together? We meet about quarterly okay. and try to get all those pieces together. We partner with folks like Feast Down East because they have a kind of a regional look to that. Mm -hmm. Lowe's Foods has been oh, really looking at more local foods in their mm -hmm. grocery stores. And also a lot of the local farmers that do more of that direct marketing piece to get their products straight to consumers. Mm -hmm. So we try to get those people together every once in a while. But we look at some opportunities. What mm -hmm. can we do next to really get the ball rolling? Mm -hmm. Well, Morgan, are all the local farmers markets members of this council? Um, they're all, yes. Yeah, so they're all p a part of the partners um, that the council is made up of. So, um, so they're all represented there. Basically, at the yes. So um, we have. Um, four in our county right now, four markets, mm -hmm. um, and then there's a few other communities in the county that are um, working to start markets in their area as well. Um, but there's four main ones that have been running uh, now for the last few years. So. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's that's really great information, and I always enjoy farmers markets. I love the local produce and the local honey mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I, I think that's really cool. Um, so these farmers markets, they truly do um, help bring healthy foods to the community. Um, is there an easy way for like folks in the community to find out where the farmers markets are and their days and hours and all that? Yeah, um, there is. We um, we try and as as part of the local food policy council, um, we try and advertise for each of the markets. So we've had a couple of billboards up for our our, our markets um, in the county. I have we, seen some billboards. That's yeah. right. I have seen those. Yeah. So those are exciting. Um, we also have um, Feast Down East has a website yeah. um, where they actually list all of the markets within the southeast region. Um, so you can go on there and you'll you'll find markets in New Hanover, Brunswick, Pender, um, kind of. Mm -hmm. All the different surrounding counties um, and all four of our markets are um, are listed on there with the website of the market the times that they're open mm -hmm. um, and where they are so we have Oak Island Southport Shiloh and the Bolivia brief which is the one that's at the complex mm. and what day is it at Bolivia at the complex? the Bolivia brief farmers market is on Thursdays, Thursdays? Mm -hmm. okay. and we're open from 11 to 2 Mm -hmm. What is that between like May and September? Or? Um, so this year we started um, basically the beginning of May, right at the end of April. Mm -hmm. um, we run weekly all the way through August, okay. and then um, from August to de or, or basically September through December, we um, run every third Thursday. So we still try and hit some of the um, like the hol closer to the holidays and things mm -hmm. like that. But we want to keep it open um, towards the end of the year still to um, give our farmers a place to kind of finish their selling with the fall um, produce, but um, we just do it monthly instead of weekly. Mm -hmm. So you all help to promote these markets um, and the healthy food options in the community. Yeah, so um, we, at, at our market, we um, have a, a table normally there that we set up with our vendors, mm -hmm. um, and we 
provide a, a healthy recipe example or sample, I guess. Um, so we, we use something that's in season that our farmers are selling. Mm -hmm. um, so like, for instance, last week that was blueberries. Um, so good. The blueberry mm -hmm. salsa. Uh, blueberry pineapple oh. salsa. It was delicious. Um, so we just make any kind of um, recipes that mm -hmm. are um, using some of the ingredients that um, are, are produce that our farmers mm -hmm. are bringing. Um, and we just do that so that hopefully as people come to the market, um, a lot of times that there's different things that maybe they haven't tried before, they're not really sure what to do with them. And so we want to give them those recipe examples, help them to kind of think outside the box of mm -hmm. what kinds of things that they can do with the produce they're buying. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's a great idea because recently um, I've begun to experiment with cooking with vegetables that I've never tried before. And one of those was a rutabaga. Yeah. Who knew? <laughs> and some just some different things, and um, it can be a bit overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And so I think that the service that you provide by introducing some of those newer, uh, well, not new vegetables because they're really the old ones, the turnips <laughs> and the, you know, and of course collards have been around forever, right. but I've mm -hmm. never cooked them. So I know. So I think that that's a, a great service. That Let's you get do. you cooking collards. Yeah, <laughs> we can help with that. I'll, I'll have to come for some cooking lessons. Okay. <laughs> well, tell me how um, uh, the, our viewers out there can get connected with the Extension Office. How do we get in touch with you guys? So call us up, 253-2610, mm -hmm. and you can also go online. We mentioned our partners with Feast Down East. Right. Uh, they got a great website that will get you in touch with a lot of different things about local foods in the, the broader area. But you can also come by our office or one of the farmer's markets really? and get connected with your farmer, too. And so we're just a part of this big system. So find your farmer, a local person that's growing your food. That's a great way to get connected. Wow, that's great. Well, time is running short, and we, we are going to wrap up here in a few seconds. So what would you like to end with? Tell me something that our viewers would really like to know. How should she cook collards and other local vegetables? <laughs> Uh, well, I think when it comes to trying new um, vegetables or a variety of things, um, a lot of times the farmers themselves are the perfect people to talk to. Cool. Mark kind of mentioned that, but that's one of the biggest things about people going to markets is that barrier between the farmer and the customer. But um, you shouldn't be t intimidated or overwhelmed by it. Just ask them. Don't get overwhelmed by the rutabaga. Huh? That's right. It's just just like ask, ask the farmer what, what's their favorite way of preparing it. Um, try, try a variety of something that you um, maybe already love. It's sure. just a different type. and. Uh, low and slow is Mark's <laughs> slogan for trying new foods. So cook it low and cook it slow. Great. Well, it's <laughs> been a blast having you guys here. I hope you'll come back soon. I always have such great conversations <laughs> with the folks from the Extension Office. So thanks, thanks again. Thank you for having us. You're quite welcome. <laughs>